Attraction is one of the major important key role in relationship. Attraction is physical, intellectual, and emotional. These three work hand in hand together. If you must succeed in any kind of relationship, you must understand that you can't settle for emotions alone. You can't trust your feelings. Your feelings are genuine, but you can't trust your feelings. In relationship, you must depend on knowledge. The quality of the knowledge about yourself and the quality of the knowledge about the person you are attracted to will determine intimacy in the relationship or will determine conflict. And one of the first things that you must be able to know for yourself is your identity. Who are you? Have you been able to find out who you are according to the scriptures that is written concerning your life? What do you represent in this generation? And what does this person represent in her or in his generation? It's very important. When there is conflict of identity, there will be crisis in the future. The second thing that you must pay attention to is what we call values. Your values are your belief system. You can't just accommodate any how person in your life for a relationship or for friendship. Pay attention to priorities. It's very important. What are the things you respect the most? It's very important. And what are the things you need? So begin from yourself before you seek to be committed to somebody else that you're attracted to. Be committed to your own self. Know these four things about yourself. Then in the knowledge of that, you wait for who can align with your kind of person. Date after your kind. If you must marry, marry after your kind. If you must have friends, have friends after your kind. You must have knowledge about these four things. Then when you are attracted to somebody, the first dimension to do is greet. We must restore the greeting culture. It doesn't mean you are inferior or superior. Greeting helps people to feel relaxed around you. Anyone you are attracted to or is attracted to you. Greeting meet is the first step. Just greet, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. From the midst of you greeting each other, you go to find a common ground to have conversations with. Stay around your common interest in that conversation. Don't ask for personal questions. No, stay around the common interest for the conversation. So when you're attracted to someone, it begins from greeting mate, from greeting mate to talking mate. From talking mate, when your conversations are benefiting your individuals, your values are benefit your individual dreams, that is when you make the person your friend. Friends are two people who are useful to each other's priorities, each other's values, identity, and beliefs. It's very important. Then from dating comes the next stage of can we date. Dating is an understanding of a man and a lady, understanding your individual identity, values, priorities, and needs to see if you both of you can build a marital destiny together. It's an understanding. Can we date is different from will you marry me? It's a two different platform. So this is how to build from don't break the process. Don't be attracted to somebody and next week you're already dating. Past due process.